A good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you. At least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forget. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It is finding room for all the things of the spirit. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right partner, it is being the right partner. Dear husband, ooh, I love the sound of that word. Our day is finally here. After months of planning and stressing, it's finally here, and all of my friends and family are here to join us. I can't wait for you to see me walking down the aisle in my dream dress. And the suit you're wearing, you're going to look handsome in it standing at the end waiting for me. I've dreamed of this day forever since I fell in love with you. Between our good times and bad, we've come out on top, and it was only for the, for the best. I know I have the privilege of calling you my husband. Megan are now Mr. and Mrs. Sealed with two rings and sweet loving kisses. He said I do, and she said it too. And now it's all ourses and not herses and hises. <laughs> On behalf of the Gubbins family, I commend this fine couple to you and ask you to join with me in giving them our blessing for a long and happy life together. first met Owen, my first thought was, how does he get his hair to be that way? <laughs> I'm so happy, proud and ecstatic that you've both come together today to become one. I cannot think of a more fitting couple than you, Megan, Owen, McGowan. May your lives be full of love, happiness, and laughter. I just want to say a little bit as well about Megan. I agree with everything that everybody said tonight. Um, she's a wonderful person, the heart of gold. I don't know if you guys seen, that was my son, the little page boy. Uh, Megan's a wonderful learning to him. I'm so happy that these two are going to have the, the luck of uh, having their own children. Um, they're going to be wonderful parents. So I'd just like you to give a hand to these two wonderful people.
call upon the people here present to witness that I, Owen Robert Gubbins, take you, Megan Zoe Wall, to be my lawful wedded wife. I promise to always support you through life's many challenges, no matter how tough they may be. I will respect you as an in individual, as my partner, and as the mother of our maximum two children in the future. I will be understanding when you get angry at me over something silly, always apologize when I'm wrong, and even sometimes when I'm not. I promise to love you unconditionally, encourage you to fulfill your dreams and goals, and promise to always have fun along the way. I promise to love and care for you, and I will try to be worthy of your love in every way. I promise to be faithful and supportive and always make our family's love and happiness my priority. I promise to be your strongest supporter, that is unless Australia is versing South Africa in the rugby or cricket. <laughs> Owen, with my whole heart, I take you as my husband, acknowledging and accepting your weaknesses and strengths as you do mine. I will dream with you, celebrate with you and walk beside you through whatever our lives may bring. You are my person, my love and my life, today, tomorrow and always. I once read that a true, a true friend sees and accepts you for who you really are. And I remember distinctly the moment when I read that because it was a picture of Owen that popped into my mind. This man has seen me at my best and he's seen me at my worst. But none of that matters to him because he always accepts people for who they really are. My brother, you found a beautiful, and a strong woman, and she loves you very much. And I'm happy to say that you are no longer the Frigid Midget. Thank you so much.